it's been a while since we last did a YouTube. When was it? Um, like over a year ago. Over a year ago. So we thought today we're going to bring you into our kitchen, cook with you, teach you some stuff, and also let you know what we've been doing for the last year. Cooking and combo. Cooking and combo in our kitchen. So yeah, if you guys have anything we kind of want to specifically speak about, yada yada yada, then take a drop in the comments and tell us what you want to hear about. We're going to do maybe like an air assess talk, so yeah, I yeah. always have questions for Charlotte, as I'm sure you guys probably have questions for Charlotte. Um, PT talk, nutrition talk, um, ADHD talk. <laughs> Modeling talk, actress talk, so, just yeah. cooking talk, life Absolutely talk, anything, um, relationship talk. Relationship talk, we're probably not very good at that. Uh, yeah, yeah. I okay. would like to know from you guys how I can make my girlfriend clean the house more if you could drop that in the comments too. Um, I'd like to know how I can <laughs> stop getting my girlfriend to tell me off to clean the house. Ta -da. And a dance <laughs> show apparently too. So today we are going to make tuna avocado pasta and I know what you're thinking, tuna avocado, what the hell, but it is a taste sensation. It's full of healthy fats, protein and good carbs in the pasta and lots of ooh, nutrients, vitamins and minerals in our greens too. And the avocado does not contain as many calories as made yeah. out on social media. That's if you're using like the entire thing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Everything in moderation, right? It's got yeah. so many nutritional benefits to it. Just have the damn avocado. So I'm going to get started first. First of all, I always put the pan on the scales and then zero it so I can get the exact measurements of pasta and then rather than faffing around. In we go. 200 grams of pasta for us today. And then take it off. And then put it on the hob. So we'll make sure we're tracking all the calories and all of that jazz for you because we'll pop this recipe up on our site so that you can then like revert back to it and you know the calories in your foods. Then I'm going to add some salt to my pasta water. Salt to pasta water. And then put a timer on because I always forget to time pasta. So <laughs> we like ours kind of like meat. I know a lot of people have it al dente, but it's more like medium. What does al dente mean? It's like just about cooked, I think. Does al dente mean just I about like it cooked? Like that. Just about cooked. So we'll go al dente today, which is like eight minutes, I think. I don't know, but you can always read the box. No. You can always read the box. Okay, so let's talk about the question we always get. Obviously, through our social and stuff like that, there is common questions that tend to come up to do with food and fitness. One of the biggest ones is, do I weigh my pasta dry or do I weigh my pasta cooked? And what are the differences in between? Yeah. Shall I let you take over? Okay, so on most pasta boxes, most pasta boxes, not all, they have both dry and cooked. We always use Napolina pasta for this reason, always wholemeal as well. But it has it both 100 grams uncooked and uh, also 100 gram, uh, 75 grams cooked as well. Uncooked 100 grams, 75 grams uncooked. So I always go off the uncooked because I'm not sure who is weighing their pasta out once you've cooked it. Once you know, you've cooked cold. pasta, it goes heavier because it, it contains water. So it's going to be a lot heavier. So always go off the uncooked value and weigh it out uncooked. But yeah, the Napolina definitely has um, uncooked on it. So some pasta boxes, if it's like own brand pasta, you tend to find it only has cooked value. But it's just so complicated and it just makes it weird. But Napolina is definitely, this is not an ad. Napolina. <laughs> <laughs> but if uh, Napolina do see it and they want to give us some money, then we're also cool with that too. Just our favourite, but you can only really get this in, I've only seen this in Asda in Tesco's, I've not really seen it in other supermarkets, I find it hard to hard to buy for some reason. Well, it will always say on the packets, yeah. it does always say on the packets, and obviously always go for the dry amount because it's a lot easier yeah. to wear your food beforehand. Just weigh it first and then... And they're usually all pretty similar as well, they're yeah. going to be similar in calories, um, yeah. Oh, the pastas, yeah, definitely, yeah. most pastas are similar in calories, but there's some really good ones on the market. That sh they just do great wholemeal options. We never eat white pasta, do we? No, uh, so why don't we uh, white food? Oh, I thought that was a, that's an audience question. That was my question. That's a you question, to the uh, audience question. <laughs> there's not as much like nutrients and vitamins and minerals in um, white foods, is there? Mm -mm. Like, there's a lot more fiber in um, wholemeal foods, and fiber is so important to keep you going. And the big one with the insulin. And it doesn't spike your insulin levels as much. So basically, your blood sugar levels don't get spiked as high when you're eating things with a lower glycemic index. I'm not going to confuse the hell out of you now because you're like, what is going on? Um, but white food tends to spike your blood sugar levels. Once you get that spike in blood sugar levels, you feel good straight away. Then when you're craving a McDonald's, you feel great. Two hours later, you're slumped straight back down again. That's because your blood sugar levels have just gone right so then back down. Then you go down. and get something else so and the, the cycle continues. And you're just doing this. So if you are in that cycle of when you eat fast food, you want more fast food, that's what 
will do into your body. Whereas if you spike your blood sugar slowly with things like hormonal options, it's gonna stay more moderate all day. And that's what you wanna be doing with your blood sugar levels. So I see it all the time. It drives me mad when people are like waking up in the morning having overnight oats with a Freddo on top with loads of like, loads of chocolate bits. And I'm just like, all you're doing right now is spiking your blood sugar so high right at the beginning of the day. And then by the time you get to lunchtime, you're, you're dropping right off. So start with a more moderate like, breakfast is my, is my tip. <laughs> anyway, next. What are we doing next? Avocado. Okay, well, let's, yeah, avocado, mm -hmm. which we've already explained, the avocado. <laughs> Again, which is really good for fiber. Avocado is full of fiber. And a lot of um, high street diets <laughs> hate using avocado. They make it seem like it's the devil. But it's not the devil. We it's eat it every day, don't the we? The opposite. Yeah, oh, every day, every single that, day. Sure. And honestly, it genuinely is everything in moderation, everything at a balance, all yeah. of that jazz. Now, let's maybe like, we're going to continue cooking. Maybe let's talk about something that we've done over this last year and why we haven't necessarily done YouTubes. Yeah. Why didn't we do YouTubes at first? Why didn't we do? <laughs> yeah, because we were like getting together. I'm not going to lie, guys. YouTube seemed a whole massive like thing. It yeah. took ages for sure to edit. I'm not very good Aww. at that kind of stuff. So I'm going to like chat in and all that jazz, but then it was kind of short short to edit them together. And you know what? Yeah. It just was a lot for you, wasn't it? Yeah. We had a lot of other things going on. We finally yeah. sort of a bit more settled to know what we're doing with our like works life and all that jazz that we can actually yeah. maybe do it again, but we're doing it unedited. So any bloopers or whatever, <laughs> um, as you can see, there's not going to be any cuts on the camera. It's just a full oh, run thing. Yeah, so. so if there's any slight gaps, we do apologize. Um, but yeah, so we're doing <laughs> that way instead. <laughs> I'm fine, I have a car. Did that catch that? That? I don't know, probably. Um, yeah, so the last year we have been studying and building our business basically. It's all we happen to do, it's going you everywhere. Just wasted avocado. I know, I'm not picking up our floor. You're supposed to use a spoon, you spoon. I know. This is not how you do an avocado. I've seen so many people peel it, but it just gets in my face. camera's fingers. like hooked onto something, otherwise I would show you guys this. <laughs> I'm not really sure what's going on, but this is still in the way. <laughs> Yeah, um, so we've been studying with a company called Future Fit Training and um, Sarah is doing her elite PT and I am doing a nutritionist course as well so we can literally be the best of both worlds when it comes to like health and fitness. We always wanted to give um, like you guys the best knowledge and the best of what we know, especially because everything that we've been doing over the years and like all the fad diets, especially that I've yeah. done. So we wanted to be educated. A lot of people. It's also for the experience of uh, what we get on sort of like the program that we do as well. Yeah. Like we are learning so much from like, because obviously we've got quite a yeah. high volume. So we get a lot of different questions, a lot of different issues. Um, and we learn on that because we learn the best yeah. way to handle those things because sometimes we don't have it. For instance, even the fact that we don't have children. So we don't necessarily <laughs> know what it's like to have child restriction on times going to the gym and stuff yeah. like that um if you've got obviously like a single parent that doesn't have anywhere to sort of place the child for an hour etc they can't they, they, they can't, can't go to the gym. gym it's not a thing that yeah. they can do um and maybe they're too tired to do home workouts and all that jazz so mm. we learn as well like as we're going yeah and that's really exciting all our knowledge knowledge and the judge yeah knowledge, we learn isn't it? from like our personal experience our clients experience and education and that's kind of like what we blend together and if you don't know we do sell a weight loss program we also sell gym clothes as well that's what we've been doing for the last year getting our building our gym clothes business but our weight loss program is obviously our um our main focus and it is what we're like well known for now so over the last year we've built up like an incredible base on social media instagram and tiktok for our business so we kind of put all of our efforts into um instagram mainly didn't we yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean even if you guys want to drop any sort of like well how do you become not necessarily content creators we don't really see ourselves necessarily yeah. as influencers yeah. but we know how to kind of grow those platforms um, uh -huh. yeah like those kind of things so feel free to ask any yeah. of those kind of questions as well honestly just ask what you want in the comments um, and we're going to start doing this like what once a week we're thinking mm -hmm. so we can incorporate a lot of what you said into obviously other videos yeah. that we choose to do um, so what are you doing here? I was going to say, just so you know where I am, I'm completely mashing avocado up. Um, and the reason why I'm mashing avocado and not slicing avocado, so when you mix it in the pasta, it gives it that wetness, so you don't need to put any mayonnaise or anything in there. Because if you if you just slice avocado, it wouldn't be like moist, would it? So you'd need the, uh, like some sort of sauce. So I use the avocado as a sauce. I've just added a tiny bit of salt and pepper. Um, and chilli flakes as well, if you fancy some chilli flakes. Should I put Definitely some Definitely some chilli flakes for us, please. Thank you. <laughs> Do any other herbs and whatnot going in there? No, just just salt, pepper, chili, a little salt, bit of chili, chili flakes. flakes. A little bit. Give it a, give it a mash around. 
Um, so there's another tip as well for like the morning on like toast and stuff like that. So we really don't like butter. Um, I'm sure if you do follow us on our socials, you'll have heard me say like just get rid of your butter. Yeah. Um, yeah, but if you use things like avocado, a bit of avocado spread, it will actually be less in calories and yeah. butter and you're actually getting benefits out of it. And um, personally, I really like the taste. I know that some people don't know. Uh-huh. Yeah, then I'm gonna get the tuna ready. Um, I'm, I don't, I don't like doing tuna. I feel like it's just. I hate doing tuna. Yeah. They need to. I think that needs to be a um, a what's it called? And this will be a new invention, right? Well, they've, they've got no trained tuna, but it's just yeah, but then it's expensive. expensive. They need like some sort of like unexpensive yeah, method of detraining, detraining, detraining de tuna. Yeah. If anyone has any tips. But yeah, I'm not. I'm yeah, not does anyone have any tuna tips? I'm not a huge fan of draining tuna, but like Sarah said, it's so expensive when you buy tuna that um, that is already drained. So obviously, on the tuna can, it tells you um, how many calories are yeah. per can, doesn't it? Yeah. So that's already there. That says that. So do you want me to get a pen and paper to just write the bits down? Or? No, it's okay. We can do it after. We're going to put the recipe in the link below anyway, so you can see it on our website because we do post recipes to our website now, which is also what we're currently working on. Okay, so I'm going to uh, mash the tuna and then I'm going to let Sarah tell you about where we're going in like four weeks' time. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to clear my throat. <coughs> Not over the pasta. Um, yeah. Sarah cough pasta. Um, no, so we're in four weeks' time. We're going to LA. And again, if you do get us on our other show, so, so I'm currently going through a bulk at the minute. I'm actually quite surprised that I haven't obtained a little bit more fat on my body than I expected to. Um, and the reason being is because we very much expect to walk into this fitness expo and it'd be full of people that look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. So uh, therefore, especially me being the PC part of this partnership, yeah, yeah. I kind of really wanted to look the part. So I'm going to continue my bulk for another two weeks. Yeah. And then I'm going to do like quite a harsh shred to just get rid of that excess fat that I have obtained um, and then I'll look like really lean and then while I'm there I'll eat what the hell I want. No, I don't eat what the hell I want anyway but like you and just I'm just going to continue to look sexy AF. Yeah. So <laughs> but we're doing a, um, while we're over there, so it's a massive expo, yeah. like I said, loads of big onions, fitness guys, people. So Me and Charlotte have been asked to go on stage, do a little bit of a speech about sort of what we do, yeah. um, things we've obtained over the year of doing it, so the questions that we get, yeah, how we implement, um, all of that jazz, and then do a bit of a Q&A with everyone too, so that'll be cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we're a celebrity guest. Guess. Either, is there? Um, anyone British? Only British, um, yeah. Um, yeah, we're the only British um, celebrity guests, not that we class ourselves as celebrities, but we are on their website as that, that have been invited. So we're going to use that. So I'm putting some spring onions, guys, just into our bowl. We're making four portions today because we'll have um, some for lunch today and some for lunch tomorrow as well. So I do about four spring onions. Four um, spring onions, guys, four spring onions. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so we're going to, oh, that's the pasta. Oh, that's the pasta timer. All right, I'll, do you want to do it or do you want me to do it? Uh, I'll do it, you keep talking. Yeah, you drain the pasta. <laughs> um, like. I just tell Sarah what's doing in the kitchen, basically. Yeah, I need. I shouldn't stand in this side because I'm taller, so I'm coming to like duck down into the camera. But right, there we go. That's better. <laughs> um, yeah. So then we're also going to spend some time out in LA as well. We've got two weeks there, pretty much. Um, and Sarah's never been, so we're going to do all of the tourist hotspots. We're going to go to Malibu and chill on the beach. We're going to. So if anyone's got any tips, Muscle Beach. Well, we're going to Muscle Beach. Um, I've been to LA a few times. Now don't get me wrong, it was with work and I didn't I didn't enjoy it all that much because I feel like LA is massive. Um and it's, it's just it's massive. so big and obviously so hot as well. But hopefully going with Sarah this time and going for a different kind of work and more fun and having our life in a completely different place, mm. it will be a completely different experience for me. So I'm really, really excited. Uh, our first long haul flight together as well. So What's the difference between table salt and proper salt? I don't know. Oh I thought there was a there was a reason, was there? No, I've no idea. Oh no there was. I don't know. No idea, sir. <laughs> it's definitely better to have crushed. I know, and I definitely know this, but I'd have to look on. And anyway, I'm going to put the tuna in why. here as well. Sorry, I did a thing on sugar. Maybe that's what we're getting confused about. No. <laughs> my, my, my eyes are crying off spring onions. Can you see this? And then putting the tuna and the spring onions in, and then oh, I'm going to cut the lettuce up first. So the the pasta. That's is, lettuce. Yeah, the pasta is draining. That is a lot like lettuce. It's romaine lettuce. It's what? Romaine lettuce. Romaine, like, ro romaine. What you put in, like, Caesar salads and stuff. Is that short for Romanian lettuce? No, I don't think so. I don't know, actually. 
<laughs> I've literally no idea. Sarah asked me these questions that she thinks I'm going to know the answer to. I'm apparently a book of knowledge and a fountain of knowledge. And she'll always just go, well, Charlotte will know the answer to this. Charlotte will know this. You usually do. No, I don't know that. Right, so that's that. And then... So, I mean, you can use normal letters for this, guys. You don't yeah. have to get this we weird just, fancy stuff we that just get odd, got. No, we get odd box, so we just use <laughs> what we get sent. And then I'm going to pop in... Um, so, we've got the lettuce, the spring onions. You don't onions. count lettuce, by the way, when you're calorie tracking. There's absolutely no, no need. Yeah. Don't need or spring like, onions. Or spring onions. They're so low, and yeah. you use, obviously, not a massive amount of it anyway. It contributes to about five calories in all yeah. of it. There's, there's zero need. So, we've got the lettuce and the spring onions in there and the tuna. Then I'm going to put the pasta in now. Um, pasta. Which Sarah has kindly drained for us. So we've got the pasta going in. straight in. Out, in, out, shake and it then all give about. It, give it a bit of a mix. Do the hokey -cokey. You have got time to let your pasta cool down. It is like optional to do that, but <laughs> are we doing the hokey cokey? <laughs> Sarah does this thing at the moment. She's going blah, 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 like that. So what else have we been doing in the last year? Uh, <laughs> a lot, but now it's like, what have we been doing? Obviously, we opened our gym wear brand as well. We moved to Manchester. Uh, we moved to Manchester. We live in a little gorgeous apartment now. Um, Which is needed for a tour, we did promise you. We yeah. will at some point. Yeah, so. Charles was very like, it needs to be super tidy beforehand. Yeah, I live with Sarah, so nothing's ever super tidy. And then, anyway, in goes our avocado, which will give it all that moisture. It works, guys. It Honestly, works. Honestly, it's avocado and tuna is just the best thing ever. And then Sarah will probably lick the bowl out after. Give it all a mix together. And then what we do is we just split it over into four portions. You can weigh it out into four portions if you really want to, just to be exact. And then divide the calories by all of that. But again, we'll link the recipe below. Below. <laughs> yeah, so um, since we've been in Manchester, we've been growing our brand even more and we, um, we work from home completely. We've also joined a, a management agency over on TikTok as well for our Charlotte and Sarah account. That's what we've also been doing too. Mm, little bits of content. Yeah. Like I said, like little bits of influencing, we don't really like to class ourselves as influencers. No. It's a bit of a difficult one. Um, I guess so, like we are, we understand that we have a bit of influence over people and we bear yeah. that in mind when we're doing things. Um, and like I said, yeah, we get a few like little bits and pieces to do. Yeah. But, yeah. More we'll just kind of like share our lives with you. Yeah, we'll share influency stuff. So we'll do brand deals if we feel like it's beneficial to mm. um, our followers. If we feel like it's not beneficial and it's not going to be something that anyone cares about, then we're not going to do it because we don't want to push products on people that, yeah. we, that we don't particularly agree with as well. And we're very, very set on that. We're not... We won't just take a, a brand deal because it's money and it gives us... It's something for us. We're, we've been like that since we started. We always yeah. stick to our guns like and stick to what we know. Yeah. Anyway, so we're going to split this into four portions and then we're going to eat it. So it's been so nice to catch up, guys. And uh, yeah, sorry it's been a while. So where are the calories and all of that jazz going to be? Is that going to be on the down below? We're going to work those out in a moment. Yeah, we'll put it down below. We'll put the, recipe, the link to the recipe down below and all the calories are going to be on there for you. But for the meantime, I'm going to do the rest of my coffee and eat this. Okay, so we will see you later. And yeah, in the comments, honestly, anything you want to speak about, because we can like just do a chat on something specific and ask you some questions, kind of like an interview maybe. Um, and we'll always cook something as sort of we're going um, and then pop the recipe on for you guys as well. So we're going to do that weekly. So also, if you want any specific recipes of something, yeah. pop that down too. Um, and we can work that out for you. Bye for now, guys. See you in a bit.